Howdy everyone, I am back and I've got a recipe this time. This is October and we are in fall and I got a little inspired by some recipes that I saw using beer. Yes, I'm gonna be using some beer in my recipe. So the first thing I'm, that I'm gonna make for you in this video will be a beer bread and it's very easy. I haven't tasted it and I have not made it before. So if you're watching this video, that means it came out good. And um, well, that's all I've got to say. I've got to give you the ingredients and uh, then we'll get going on it. Yes. All right, so I'm back and I'm gonna give you the uh, list of the ingredients that you will need. And you will need three cups of sifted flour. So make sure you sift it. If you don't, that's fine, but it's really better if you do sift it. You're going to need a teaspoon of a baking powder. Forgive me, I'm looking down at my little notes. Uh, you will need a teaspoon of salt, a quarter cup of sugar, and you will need a quarter cup of butter, and I'm using unsalted butter. And then you will need a 12 ounce beer, and you can use any beer you want. The recipe that I saw used a pumpkin beer, but I didn't think I want to spend $9 for one bottle of beer that, you know, for one loaf of bread. Not thinking, I don't think I'm going to drink the rest of the beers. But then again, turns out that my guys might want to drink it. So maybe next time I'll make it with a pumpkin beer. Uh, for now, I am going to use, and I don't know which one I'm going to use because I'm going to be doing another recipe that will follow this, as I said. And that will be for some beer chili. So I'll put the link below once the video is done. And uh, of course, I will also give you the ingredients down below also as well as in my blog and I'll let you all know all about that down below. Okay, so I've got these two beers. The The chili does ask for a dark ale or a dull, dark, dark brew and I feel like this is going to be the one that I'm going to use for my chili. So that means I'm going to use this one and it really, it really doesn't matter. Use whatever you want. It's called Black Butte Porter, and that sounds a lot darker than this other one. I am so confused now. So, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and get all my, <laughs> excuse me, all my ingredients going, and then I'll decide. All right, so it asks for three cups of sifted flour. Here's two cups. Sifting that in, two cups right there. I need one more cup. I guess it's Oktoberfest and uh, you know, it's that time for beer and Halloween's coming up. So um, that's got people inspired to bake hoop and cook with beer. So I thought, why not? You know, the heat's gonna get rid of your alcohol and all that, so I'm not gonna worry about it. Just, you know, a little happy juice ain't gonna hurt. Uh -huh. Okay, no, that's not, I don't know. Okay, here we go. One more cup. Oh, it's a good flower. It's so pretty when it's being sifted. I don't know why, but I love it. And that's it. And this will go into my mixer, uh, my dough mixer, with well, my dough hook on my mixer. Now you can do this by hand. You can just use a, a wooden spoon to do it. But my arm hurts. Don't ask. No, not that. Anyway. Anyway, there's my three cups of flour. And it is asking for three teaspoons of a baking powder. So let's make sure there's a teaspoon measurement roll here. Three teaspoons of that. Should I sift that in? I should have sifted it with the flour. Okay, well, I didn't do it, so well, I could. There's one little sifted teaspoon. Two. noise while I'm at it. 
and that's it. Three teaspoons of baking powder. I read that quite a few times to make sure that I wasn't supposed to use baking salt. Okay, and I've got my quarter cup of uh, sugar here. My measurements are kind of fading on here, but the half cup is still there, so um, I know I've got a quarter cup. Here we go. Oop, right in there. And then I need a, is it half a teaspoon? No, one teaspoon of salt. That sounds like a lot of salt. But let's just go ahead and do it the way it was in the recipe. One teaspoon of salt. All right, and that will now get, uh, let's mix it up together here. Let's lower this thing here. Yeah, let's do it right. Can I do this right? There we go. I was scared all the flour was gonna go flying. Okay, so we got that going. We are gonna melt a quarter cup of this uh, butter. A quarter cup of butter, which is half a stick or four tablespoons. I guess it helps if I, I grabbed a spatula instead of a knife. Well, okay. We're gonna put that in there for about 10, 15 seconds. Kept trying to put 15 seconds and I was putting 15 minutes, so we don't want that. Okay, so 15 seconds, let's melt that butter, and that will get added, not now, but until we get the bread in the pan. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to add your beer, and I haven't decided. But I do recall when I was buying this, I decided that this anchor one was gonna be for my chili, so I'm gonna use that for my chili. And I'm going to use this whole 12 ounce right in there. Pop it open. Woohoo! Fun times. Look at that. And that's nice and pretty. It smells good. So I hope the bread tastes good. I'm not a beer drinker, so I really don't know what beer is supposed to taste like, but I do know what good tasty bread tastes like. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get rid of that. That sure seems like a lot of beer in there, but... Okay, I am going to... Oh, no, it's fine. I just need to move that flour around. Okay, so I'm going to let this blend and you know mix up really well and then I'm going to be back and we're going to put this in a baking pan. Right back. Okay. <laughs> I'm back after that little awkward ending and then um, I also finished mixing this up and I stirred it up with my spatula to make sure there was no flour on the bottom that I do have a nice dough. And I've got my little loaf pan, which I'm going to spray with some baking spray. Just some regular old baking spray, any brand, I guess, will do. And I think I got it. And I've got my oven, look at that, I got it on my hand. I've got my oven preheated at 375 uh, degrees Celsius. Well, wait a minute, not Celsius. Hello, Fahrenheit. You gotta keep that straight. I don't know why. That's like the second or third time I do that. That I say Celsius. I must be living in the UK or something in my mind. Okay, so here we go. We've got this dough. This is what it looks like. You see it? And you'll notice that I didn't put any yeast in my dough. You know, you normally make bread with some, some yeast to help it rise, but you know what? beer contains yeast so i don't need to add any in here and i didn't need to do it twice because i guess the yeast in the beer is a quick rising yeast i guess 
I'm guessing I'm just going by the recipe that other people have done and has worked out. Let's find out if it works out for me. I think I've got most of it out there. I'm going to kind of move it around. Can you see it? There we go. Move this around, kind of even it out in here. Okay, again, I have my oven at 375 degrees Fahrenheit. It's already uh, ready to go because I started it up before I started this uh, little tutorial. Now, the quarter cup of melted butter, that, as I said, goes poured over it. And let me tell you, that sounds fun. It doesn't look pretty, but it sure does sound fun. Okay, now this is going to go in that 375 degree oven for one hour yes one hour so you know what that's going to give me time to prep everything and get a beer chili going so like i said we'll get this out in one hour and i'll show you my chili recipe in a link below all right i've got a nice little platter here i'm gonna pop out my bread it's still a little warm but i'm gonna see if it pops out oh it did very nicely Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? It smells fantastic. Look at that. It's so pretty. Here we go. Here is the bread from up on top so you can get a good look at its texture and what it'll look like when it's out of the oven. And you know that that is what it's supposed to look like. That is what it looked like when I saw it being done and the recipe that I took from to make this bread. Now we're gonna slice it and have a nice taste. All right, time to slice into it. I've got a nice serrated knife here. Let's turn this bit. A little crusty to get cutting into it. I feel like this is the kind of bread you just wanna just tear into it with your hands. Oh my gosh. Got a little piece. It's fantastic. It's a very nice, substantial bread. And you know what? I don't even taste the beer. Nope. It's delicious. This is going to be great with my beer chili that I'm going to make. Like I said, I will link that below. If you want to try this recipe and you liked it, or if you have other ideas for beer recipes, link them below. Please leave a nice comment. Thumbs up would be appreciated. Please subscribe to my channel. And as always, enjoy.